Greetings and welcome back to the lab. It's time to finally build the sparkler and see if it works as I expected. Now I finally got the, the final piece, which is a blue LED. I'll show you that in a minute. I got some others. It's four different colors, but the key is these yellow blinking LEDs. And another part of this is 1K resistors. That is, I believe, how I've got it designed. This was the breadboard that I tested it on, but right now I don't have my 12 volt supply handy to show you. But the idea was going to be blue in the middle working its way out to yellow. It's actually blue followed by cold white, followed by warm white, followed by yellow. And the yellow happens to be the blinker. Manages to blink all four in a row. And there are, on the circuit board, eight, there are eight rows on the board in a star, kind of a sparkle pattern, if you will. And then there are eight corresponding resistors. So the first thing is going to be putting the resistors in. And I'm actually going to mount them on the top of the board. I designed it that way so that there'd be some visual interest here, even when it's off. So let's get that one soldered on. And we'll get a couple of resistors soldered on. Then we should get some LEDs on. And then we can actually try to test it and make sure that it works. So that's one there. Let's get the bin. There's all my cutoffs. So let me get some of this put together and then I'll come back and explain a little bit about what I've done. And we'll just jump into time lapse. See you on the other side. Alright, that's all the resistors. Next we're going to look at the actual LEDs and the order in which they're going to go. And they're radiating out from the inside. So I want to have... Actually what I wanted was to have blue on the innermost circle and have it get warmer and warmer as it came out. So it's going to be blue, cold white, warm white, and then yellow. So here's the blue. It's not going to look much like a blue, because I specifically ordered with the clear, sorry, with the, the frosted lens and not the blue colored lens. Now these are going to go on in, if you look at the board, let me see if I can't get that to focus you will see there's a flat side in each one of those LEDs. That flat side is supposed to be the negative side. If you look at the LED itself, you will see that there is a longer and a shorter lead. The shorter lead should be the negative, so the shorter lead should go against the flat side. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put that on this one, on 5A, if you happen to be following along. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it over it's a little trickier than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm going to bend it over and then I'm going to have to kind of shove it back a little bit. Because what I'm trying to do, I may have made these a little too close to each other. Huh. We'll find out about that momentarily. So I want to get that one on and I'll get it soldered. Which is going to be a little weird for the first one because that's the only component on that side that's holding the whole board up. Uh, let's get it. Let's get one lead soldered and then go back and make sure it is the way I want it to be before I solder the other lead. Now that's pointing a little bit in the wrong direction. I think this is going to just work. It's really tight. I've done this before where I lined them up, but I don't think I lined them up this close. So that may have been a slight mistake, but if this works out, I'll just release the board as is. Otherwise, it'll be Sparkler 1.1. So that's now lined up. Let's get the other lead soldered. 
Then we'll move on. Yeah, this is going to be the tricky part. I'm going to have to pull these out one at a time while I demonstrate so I don't mix up the LEDs because they are all going to look very similar. That's the warm white, not yet. Here's the cold whites. And more resistors. When I order from this company, I get the resistors in a box with the LEDs. Designed for 12 volts, but this is it is running on a 12 volt system, but it's running four in series on a 12 volt system. Those resistors are for if you had um, one LED on 12 volts. It drops enough voltage to protect the LED and keep the current low enough that you don't burn it out. So now I'm going to try and get that one in, get it to fold over. And push it back a bit, leaving room to put the leads for the next one. So you can see this is going to form a line going that way. Let's actually snip the leads on the first one. I didn't do that. Let's get this one, get one leg soldered in and make sure everything's okay first. Wow, that is tight. Okay, let's get the next one. My sincere hope is that the, despite how tightly packed I've made these, that it will, the line of LEDs will work out. So let's get now, put that aside, let's get the warm white, which I have less of. But I should have enough to build all of the lights I'm planning on building here. And so you can see how these do not Wow, I'm going to have to raise this one up just to be able to get the leads in. All right. Got to get it in far enough. Push it in, push it down, something like that. I am definitely stressing the leads here. That's not a wonderful thing, but really this is not intended to be a commercial product or if that were the case I could probably have LEDs manufactured in some way or just add another millimeter between them in the line. Yep, that was tight, but it's on. That leaves us with the yellow, and shortly we should be able to test to make sure it's doing what I expect. Whoops, that's one of my short yellows. That's if you were noticing what's written on the package, it's got the number of long and the number of short. Some of these are just harvested from failed prototypes. So. This prototype is pretty simple, so I don't expect it to fail. Well, let's see what happens, huh? So I can get the leads in there. You have to bend the old one up to get it further down and get it in. Ooh, that's going to be close. That's, I'm glad I started with this row. Because what it shows is how close I am to the connector. That is interesting. All right, let's get it soldered in. All right, 
Now I think I have a way to get that connector on without too much of a problem and that's all this is is these pin connectors that you just snap off a portion and we get a shorter one in case I ever need like 40 of them in one shot. And these are pretty easy to find. There are some other ones that are milled and are not as easy to find but these work nicely. Now this is going to mount from the back because this is ultimately going to hang on the coupler. So I'm going to put this in and it doesn't matter what direction you put it as long as you get all four pins in there. And now the fun part is trying to kind of hold it and put it down while I have to go to solder the first pin. Then we'll make sure everything's lining up. Might be smarter to do that one first before you do this row. It's actually pretty close to lined up. I'm going to heat it up and use the mat here for some sort of resistance while I push forward to make it move in the direction I want to make it rotate. And then hopefully that'll be... That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, I guess we'll launch into time lapse while I try to fix this mess. That wasn't as bad as I feared. It is now back in. The problem is when something falls out like that, you the solder ends up blocking the hole. So now I'm just trying to get this to sit down right. I'm going to have to put a fair amount of heat into it because there's a little bit of solder on the pin on the other side. Maybe I'll have to accept it as is. Let's see if I can get another pin. And actually it looks like I got two of them. wasn't intending to. What I can do is raise this yellow one up. It should hinge up a little bit there. And then I can hopefully get all of these pins soldered on. Okay, lessons learned. Do the connector first in this particular case because that row of LEDs will block it. This is going to be a little bit wonky. Maybe I can heat them all and move it slightly. Famous last words. Nope, that's good enough for now. I'm going to push the yellow one back down. Let's get the other parts so I can set it up and make sure that it's actually functional. And we're back. And I think I've got what I need here. Oop. There's another way to do it. Why do I keep losing things? <laughs> okay. All right. I had an adapter, but I don't need the adapter because I got the direct one. Um, this should light everything up except for the new one, and then we'll put that on. There we go. Except for some reason the red's not lighting up. I'll have to diagnose that later. I'm not sure what happened there. It could be a disconnected wire because I keep throwing this all in a box. And let's see, let's try and get this plugged in, and there we go. We've got blinking. we got it going from blue to cold white to warm white to yellow. Yellow is a little on the dim side, but that is kind of what I want. The, the idea is I'm thinking about the sparks as they emanate from the center. They're going to be a very cold, cold white. That's why I've got the blue here. I couldn't get cold white and colder white. So I got the blue, I got the cold white, the warm white, the yellow, and the yellow is causing everything to blink, which is good. 1K may not be the brightest. We'll have to see what that looks like in the dark. Let's see how the camera's going to handle that. That's handling it reasonably well. 
it could probably be a little bit brighter and I do need to make four of them so this may be a test one and I may change it to a 1k later in which case I will put that in the description of the video but for now what I'm gonna do is try and get the rest of these LEDs soldered on here some of them are gonna be sticking off the board and uh, then we'll come back and see what it looks like at a couple of different stages I'll be right back all right I'm back and what I ended up doing was I ended up soldering on all of the LEDs except the last one in each row because ultimately it would just go really slow to have to keep switching back and forth between LEDs so I just dump out a bunch and this was the cold white sorry the warm white so I've got I've worked my way all the way through there and that leaves me with the yellows but before we do that let's just go ahead and hook this up I found the other uh, connector I was looking for which was this one that'll light up another one next to it now let's plug this in I should still have the one but nothing else because I haven't completed the circuit on the other seven rows but there we go we got one row okay it's a little bit of a flaky connection but there you go that should be running so let's unplug this we'll just leave it on for the moment a little living a little bit dangerously here let's get a yellow LED well let's dump out a few of them and let's start working our way through it and we'll go back to time lapse for a moment so you can see me solder this one in and then we'll give it another quick test now one thing is I did end up uh, I have to lift up the previous LED a little bit just to reveal the pads for the next LED and yeah actually you might have noticed that the LEDs are going to be hanging off the edge here but that's entirely fine by me the uh, size of the circuit board is limited if you're trying to do prototypes but if you have the LED sticking off the end like that then you can get a little bit more real estate so let's see what happens when I solder that one in and try to plug it in we'll get this one then we'll do like two more and then three more and then we'll be done something like that that should be all that's required to make that row work I'm sticking it a little bit further than I intended so I'm gonna reheat the joints here and try and move it back a little there we go cut off the excess and plug it in we should have two of them running now that's assuming I haven't done anything else wrong yep and you can see they're out of sync so imagine this with eight of them going around it's going to be out of sync a lot but the entire row is in sync it's the individual rows are out of sync with each other so that's the idea let me get a couple more of these and then we'll come back Okay, that's two more. Let's take a look. Having a little trouble plugging it in. Oh, we're plugged in. Now you kind of get some better idea of what it's going to look like. May not be quite as fast as I thought it would be, but let's add four more and find out what it's going to look like. Plug it in and see what it looks like. Let's 
that's my sparkler. Now I just got to build three more of these, and then we can look at hanging them up. Yep, I'll let that go for a couple of more seconds. Oh, I was going to say the uh, on the on the edges on a couple of them, I had to actually push the LED all the way over the edge, so it's sitting a bit flatter. But you can't really see it. So I think that's pretty effective. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.